our planet is home to many dangerous animals. But how do all these animals fail? We pick 72 that stand above the sun, except mosquitoes and, <clears throat> and humans. I feel like those two would, they would squad wipe this whole earth. Thanks for 100, uh, currently it's at, uh, I believe, 111 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for helping this channel pass 100 subscribers. Thank you. I was originally going to do a live stream. Actually, the live stream was supposed to be today, but I'm, right now I didn't really plan on doing it. I was planning on probably doing it, but I'm, I'm probably just not going to do it. There are many fierce predators, nasty herbivores, and more that call this lineup competition. As, as let's dive in. Oh. We'll pick a winner in each episode and have our top 11 finals finish off their final showdown. From the largest reptile to a scorpion that can kill a human a hundred times its own weight to, <clears throat> to, to the nasty, the, to the man's best friend stopping man in the back. This is 72. Dangerous animals, and we're playing it. Last time, the bull shark chomped up some competition. But now, let's get in to see who will win today. Next, coming up, we have, and next, we have the largest kitty cat taking on the big bad wolves. We have a, we have the, and the ant, an insect that can sting like a bullet, taking on the vacuum cleaner with Freddy Krueger claws. And the longest snake faces off against nastiest bear. In 72 Dangerous Animals, Our Planet. The grizzly bear is a massive woods. Grizzly bear can be up to a 900 pounds. Some have said a thousand, but that's, I don't see that. These animals live almost anywhere in it. These animals live in Europe and North America. The grizzly bear is one of, if not the strongest bears. This animal is easily able to kills larger animals. Grizzly bears are muscular and powerful animals. They're one of the largest bears, with the Kodiak and polar bear being stronger. I originally thought the brown bear was larger than the grizzly, but um, that's still a questionable debate because the, the max size I found for a bear a grizz I heard for a grizzly bears nine hundred to a thousand pounds. And for the brown bear it's eight hundred pounds. But there's still people that will say grizzly bears are bigger than brown bears. I'm still debating on which one's the bigger one. Originally I just started off thinking it was just the brown bear. But hey, who knows? Speaking of other bears besides grizzlies, this is called a gorilla bear. And I'll give you some time. Pause the video right now and take a big, fat, wild guess why this bear is named a gorilla bear. Oh, you done? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do this. The reason why is... You kind of get it because it's a hybrid. And it doesn't take a genius 
figure out which two bears made to get made it together to give this. Yeah, grizzly, the gorilla bear, polar bear. You scared with the pole? Say that. Get rid of the pole part and polar bear, and you can get it. The grizzly. I don't know what to do with the grizzly. It's gorilla bear. Yeah. Fun fact, these are one of the only, if not the only, hybrids that can actually mate and reproduce. Yeah. Ligers, they can't mate and reproduce. Tigons, they can't mate and reproduce. Yeah. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what a Ligon and Tigon. Actually, not Tigon. Tigin. Tigin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tigin is a Tigon? I don't. Yeah, it's Tigon. I don't know why I said Tigin. Yeah. Ligers and Tigons. That's what I still believe. Yeah. Yeah, they're one of the only animals that can mate and reproduce. Hybrid animals that can mate and reproduce because they have an even amount of chromosomes. Chromosomes and animals. I don't. I'm not. Sh sh I think chromosome. Chromosome. Yeah. Chromosomes are basically just the egg. Is it the egg version? Yeah, I don't know. The egg version of egg. The human version, animal version of eggs. I'm not talking about the one. The one, the egg that you boil, cook, you cook for breakfast. Or the one that animals live in. Some animals. But the gorilla bear. Yeah, if we see more of these, that's not a good sign. That means we'll see less. Because grizzlies and polar bears, they should never meet in the wild. Maybe once. Maybe once. But they should really, like, not meet and have a hybrid. It is so rare to get a hybrid from animals. Even rarer in one the mommy or the daddy is a, a polar bear. Wanna know why? Because polar bears are rare as heck. I should explain myself because they're not rare. They're, they, they just shouldn't be in places they are. Because these are one of the only animals that on purpose hunts humans. It's even for revenge stuff. Revenge, literally. Revenge reel is not just, just after what, and if that's true, I don't know if it's 100% true, that the gorilla bear is, actually hunts humans. I mean, the polar bear on purpose hunts humans because they lose their homes to humans. Then that's, that's far from a great sign. That's, you know, that's just a pretty bad sign altogether. All right, let's step back to grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are large, dangerous animals. And this, everyone you know, seen those videos, how is a fat bear able to catch sa a salmon? You might be thinking, what's the equivalent of no, please don't make this one of the queso drugs. Queso catching Steph Curry. Let's just say, I really did not have no other example of a human. Yeah, I could say the world's heaviest 
you've been trying to catch Michael Jordan, but that person like weighed down on like 70 tons. And that's not good. Okay, that, that that's not true. That's most likely not true. Right. These guys are just large and dangerous. And that and they're just saying they have muscles. One of two now, they're strong. But one of two things happened in this thing, this photo. One the most likely one, a pack of wolves killed this animal. Actually, I'll only really one because grizzly bears don't often eat dead. Or should I, what should I say? They don't mean you play dead, they mean you protect your hand, protect your neck. Because that's a fatal grizzly kill. When this bear, this bison was already dead, grizzly bear found it. Or two, this grizzly bear was hunting a pack of bison. I might be saying, how's a, how is a herd, not a pack of bison, a herd of bison? How's a grizzly bear able to take down one of the strongest members, a strong pack member? member, I mean, the leader of the herd. Secret, they do not. In fact, they go far behind, literally. They wait for the weak, the sick, the young. Yeah, those are, those are the ones that, the old, those are the ones they're gonna attack, the ones at the back. They're not gonna risk their life trying to beat an animal that almost weighs more. As they were way much larger than you were. So that's just me. <clears throat> that explains why. <clears throat> they're just muscular. They're not all fat, they're muscular. They're literally muscular. So your theory of saying that <clears throat> this is the equivalent of queso catching Steph Curry Actually, I think it would be a little bit easier for Casey to catch him because Curry's getting older. <clears throat> it's still up there. Yep. Yeah, you just don't want to know what happened to this bit, this grizzly. <clears throat> Sorry. I didn't mean the grizzly, I meant the deer. You don't want to know what happened. Let's just say that he's in a better place. These are not the same players. The worst time you can see a grizzly is one that's supposed to be hiding. So it didn't so Denny eat enough. Grizzly, a starving grizzly bear is probably more dangerous than a regular grizzly bear. Why? Because they're going to kill you. You ever know? They're usually herbivores, but they most, they're omnivores. And they'll eat meat if they have to. On average, like herbivores are dangerous, are pretty dangerous. Carnivores are more dangerous because it's fun and tense. Well, omnivores, those are questionable. If you're able to scare a wolf off, you're dangerous. Probably not packed, but so the grizzly bear lands its choke, its horse, its bite to the neck and falls. How does it pair against the formidable snake? The longest snake on the planet. The reticulated python. And that the, large, the longest reticulated python ever caught measured at measured at 35 feet long. Some estimates and people say that they can get much bigger. And these animals are spread all over southern Asia. 
Let's play a game. No, we're not. We're not gonna pause the video. Pause. I'm gonna pause making this video. Kick a ball ground. No, we're playing a game. How many snakes are actually in this photo? They're visible. Just tell me, how many snakes do you believe are in this photo? Alright, you done? Well, uh, Max, I'm gonna say there's five snakes. You can see three of the snakes' heads. You can see a long turning body going there, and another one turning around, turning, going on the screen. You can see three of the snakes' heads. <clears throat> I originally thought there was only one in telling us how many bodies are in here. And there's probably more. I mean, they're mad. They're mad. They're very large snakes. Easily able to take down prey. These animals, just like all other snakes, have heat sense. Seeing. I believe I don't know. Heat sensors. They literally pick up on an animal. They're miles away. That is hard, I remind you. And they will waste, they will take all that time to kill. Also, many snakes actually have, like, skin. The cleanest one that can, like, show, that is so, like, it can literally show, like, rainbow. Like, you can see on this video, if you want to zoom in, because I'm not. Every time I try to zoom in, I always go back to what, somewhere, somewhere, let me go back right where it's like, okay, take a photo, and I'm not risking that again. You don't want to know how many times I tried to film this video. Speaking of large snakes, we got a new snake that can and possibly beat the, the Titan of Bowie. Not Titana Boa, we Titana Boa for the long, <clears throat> sorry, voice crack. That's why I said Titana Boa, we, not Titan, Titana Boa, for the largest snake ever. This is Vizuki Indicus, and that time I did not obliterate the same. Honestly, they're a part of the Mad Soaday family. I mean, the closest cousins that Mad Sodays are extinct. Like, the whole genus is extinct. Extinct. Okay. Yeah. So, this close is probably one of the closest and famous cousins is. Who should I say? I uh, I just guess. I'm not even. I'm just tired right now. You know, I forgot the name of the snake. I can't. Yeah. I'm not tired. I just woke up this morning. Yeah. Dragon and Coke is here. Honestly, I should just make a video about gloop. How many gloops are gloopers? I'm merely a gloop. I mean, I kind of got messed up in the video. By saying something like, like having the voice crack at the worst time. <clears throat> and I was like, that's funny. Not even embarrassed, it's funny. This Lord Snake is easily able to knock it that Easily able to kill, like, alligator. Well, I don't even think we know yet. I didn't do too much research on... Vizuki and the kiss, I didn't obliterate that, so I deserve one cookie. I have to give myself a cookie. That's nice. Vizuki and the kiss. We don't know much about this. I don't even think we know what the Vizuki and the kiss eat. The last time I tried to film this video, I was saying Vizuki. 
Bazook. I can't even say Bazooki Indicus wrong. I don't, I, I was like saying Bazooki Indicus. Bazaki. But it's Bazooki Indicus. Bazooki Indicus. We, we don't really know what he eats. Is it a lion? Is it like other snakes where it like it's close cousins where it eats mammals and stuff? Who knows, dude? dude, 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 dude. This snake is literally like the constrictors of today. Very likely that the Vizuki and the Kiss is like a constrictor. And I would bet if prehistory wasn't done, prehistory was not done yet, that Zeph for Nature, or I'm not gonna say his real name. I know his real name because he always said, puts it in the end credits, which I barely watch. Yeah, I know his real name. I'm not gonna say I'm I'm gonna be a nice person. I know if Zephyr Nature, the squad, the video the series if it wasn't done, they would immediately swipe out some I would bet. Cause this they did it exactly with Gigant. I I forget the name again. A giant sea snake. I forgot this sea snake. Originally it was going to be cool suitcase, but they moved to the sea snake. Which, honestly, fine by me. I don't care. Do what you want, boys. This snake is easily able to one-shot humans. And easily able to constrict you to death. I kind of like the two, the two snakes. I originally thought it was three snakes, but now it's most likely two snakes. The two snakes. Constrictors and venom. Snake, venomous snakes. You get the drift. Constrictors squeeze their prey to death. Venomous snakes inject venom into their prey to death. As long as these animals are eating, then it's good. These are seriously one dangerous animal. The, the reticulated python is easily gonna not make the first place. Yeah, you thought this was making the first place? The person that recommended this, I forgot. It was just a wizard girl. Or dude? I don't know. I, I just depict people as. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but sometimes I'm like, oh, this person's kind of like this. Reticulated python slaps its way dead seconds. Yeah, it barely can compare to the nasty bear. Now, let's go in for another monster. Of the what? What's gonna happen? How will the vacuum cleaner of South America with Freddy Krueger claws fair in this lineup. A maximum weight ant eaters. Well, usually they're small ones, but there's also pretty big ones. Ant eaters can get up to a hundred, kind of around hundred, mostly eighty. They're not too big. These animals come live in South America. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's early morning time. I mean, in the, usually I'm a morning bird, but I'm not doing this. The famous ant eater is one of, if not the most dangerous animals in South America. You wanna? These animals 
they're blind, so that makes them like ten. That makes them slightly more dangerous, and their long tongue makes them more dangerous. This photo is it's one hundred percent real. And there's a disturbing backstory behind this photo. A group of sold a group of people went into the Amazon. And they they got lost there. Their names was Olivia, Oliver, Brian, and and Jordan. Not Michael Jordan. Jordan. As now, Mike, as, as what happened was one day Jordan, who was a female, she went into the forest. They didn't find her until they found her severed hand. Oh, yeah, viewer, dis effort, uh, viewer description. I obliterated, I obliterated that word too. Is advised. This am, this animal is easily able to one shot human. What they didn't know was of all the jaguars, cougar, cougars, cougars don't live in South America. They live in Central America, North America. I believe they live in South America. I know they live in North America. I hope the jaguars, anacondas, and caimans, and more, like venomous snakes, such as fertilants, fertilants, and pit vipers, I hope all those animals, um, and bull sharks, because they live in the Amazon too, which, yeah, you can be shocked by that. One of the animals. Oh yeah, river otters too. They they knew about river otters. One of the animals would be able to kill them. As as unfortunately for Jordan, fortunately for Jordan, she she was the first one to go, and had one of the. The less painful deaths out of the rest. As here, as unfortunately, you, as it only got worse for the. Yep. It only got way worse. The problem started when some when people, when one day Brian was here and Olivia was watching him, not to be a creep, but to make sure a jaguar or a caiman or what or any other dangerous animal didn't come out too long. Said was worse. She had um, a hugging device. Yeah, it's a hugging. It's, we're gonna call them hugging device because yeah, you know why? Because of the policies on YouTube. We're just gonna call them hugging. I don't mean to make fun of you, YouTube. I'm not making. I'm not trying to. I'm trying, let's not to offend you guys. I know what it feels like. The hugging device. She used the hugging device to fire a couple rounds, a couple shots. But it's too late as Brian got dragged away by two ant eaters and got gored to death by their tongue. Yeah, they didn't know ant eaters had sharp tongues and their claws. Olivia screamed. As Brian got dragged away to his death, the next day, Olivia, Oliver tried to fix the 
tried to fix the engine. Oh yeah, a quick one. All right, all right. After when they were looking for some new animals to discover, they hit, they hit an arapaima and killed it. And many of the hard scales got in and jammed the engine of the boat. So he was trying to fix it, hoping that no caimans would come. Well, Olivia watched him, hope to make sure no, no black caimans or bull sharks or anacondas or any other animal would lunge out and grab him. Unfortunately, we'd be able to get the boat back to work. But what Oliver didn't know is fixing the engine of the boat just saved his life. As Olivia and Oliver were grieving over what their what happened to their friends, they called in radio, but due to a flood that was happening, the the station, the park state, the national park station, could not attend to them. As the scientists, they they were able to discover one new animal. It was a snake. And then, and then it got worse. As Olivia was going around, she got attacked and killed by three ant eaters. Oliver saw the ant eaters coming and got his hugging device and began using his the pu the, the the rounds the hugging device to get. To war, get, to get away, to get away, to get away. The ant eaters, and he was somehow able to get away. Now you know the whole story is fake, right? Even the new snake, the discovered snake. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the ant eaters. Able to impale people with their tongues, that's fake. This photo is 100% photoshopped. Also, I, due to copyright reasons, it's not mine. I forgot. This contact is not. This. No, this contact. Um, but the. That is not mine. The Photoshop, that's not mine. I'm not, and I'm not claiming it as mine. Because if I did claim it, you to find out who actually did it, I would get kicked off the planet point and found with a fine. Yeah, it's not fun. It's a tea posing ant eater. Yeah, this ant eater, you're not, you're gonna give. It's gonna give a big hug. And that hug's gonna be gouging your eyes out. Don't give her. This guy's not trying to invite you to a hug. He's trying to kill you. The only other animal that can scare jaguars like ant eaters is the already meant featured giant river otter. But these guys, I feel like, do it better. With Freddy Krueger claws, that can. Scared for a cougar and an animal and a taper that can that at maximum weights can weigh up to two Shaquille O'Neal's. You're impressive. You're you're impressive. Long shell claws are usually able to kill, gorge out people. The ant eater has no match trying to take down its opponent, the grizzly. It slices in the second place, knocking the nasty snake down the third. How does it feel? How does the line up fare against an insect with a sting like a bullet? The bullet ant is one of the is a nasty opponent. A 
only getting an ounce large, a couple ounces. This animal is spread all over the floors of South America. A bull ant is one of the most dangerous animals. It is easily able to kill instantly if you were a mouse. Really, in all reality, these guys are not too scary. And if you're like, oh, them face of mother, you, I showed this to my mom, she would, she would get the bug spray on a photo. Yeah. A bullet ant is easily, has one of the most painful bites and stings. It is known to kill anything that's the size of an ant. Sure, same size as Ants are strong altogether. Bull ants are very strong. They're strong ants. And painful and too. One of two things, three things happen. One, this ant is, this man has a little a high pain tolerance. You can take as many skins as he wants. Two, this ant, this bullet ant is about this thing. Not, which, so, looks like. Three, this person has great camera timing. And is right now, and is re right now regretting getting stung by an ant. The worst thing is, they just come in swarms. This is a drone. Most people think board ants can fly. Only drone ants can fly in all areas. Board ants are strong, powerful animals and swarm almost anything. They're brutal too. Like most other ants, they're brutal on how they kill prey. These are army ants. They're not bullet ants in their army. I, I could not find a photo with bullet ants attacking something. These are, they look too small to be bulldog ants. I don't know what these ants are. They seem like fire ants though. No, maybe fire ants. When I say maybe, it's because fire ants kind of have bigger heads. I don't know what type of ant this is. This is an European, European, this is a Europe green lizard. Featured in one of my Hood Wind books, actually. And this is a, being gouged, getting bitten to the by bullets. bullets. This, I don't know what type of ant it is. I feel like it's not boy. This boy lizard just got torn to pieces. Won't get torn to pieces. Boy ants are strong animals. They're usually able to kill humans. If they were inside. Really, boy ants, their sting is bad. But they're, out of all ants, there has not been a reported Death, we're really even close to what ants. I feel like ants altogether are one of the least, most dangerous animals because they're like tiny. They're, you're gonna need, you need a hundred stings to like, oh, okay, there's something's going on. I should probably leave you this one. Well, it's painful. It can't, it can't rival our bear, ant eater, or snake. It falls in the fourth. Next up in the lineup, a mean predator. The wolf, either gray or timber wolf, are one of, if not the most dangerous animals to ever be in a pack. Yeah. These animals, gray or timber wolves, can get around a couple, like 
max, I'm going to say like three, I believe like 300 pounds. I don't know. Wolf sizes are always like janky and so I spread on all planets except South America. Wolves all together, not just the gray and timber. Except South America, Africa, and Australia. Now, quick question. This is for only NBA fans. The Timberwolves are actually a real animal. Before I get to this story, yeah, Timberwolves are real dogs. I, I, yeah. But why does the NBA call them a, the Timberwolves when they're actually wolves? I don't know, and I don't want to mess with the name because... <laughs> And the NBA decided to change the Timberwolves' name to the Minnesota Wolves. It would not be right. It, I, I just don't see it like that. The, the, the wolves are easily able to destroy any animal that comes along this path. There has never been a real reported death. You'll see, there has been not a reported death from a wolf. Death as a wolf. Wolves are one of the only animals that actually really barely get hunted and barely have competition. They're able to scare grizzlies. Featured earlier in this episode, wolves are nasty pack predators and use their skills to kill. It will bite down any prey item and nearly demolish it. Wolves all together. This is most likely a wolf dog. Which, what is a wolf dog? I don't know. Part wolf, part dog. As the wolf, they swarm. I would bet you, well, not just this wolf killed. They kind of do have hierarchies in the wolf pack. The weakest feeding first, strongest feeding last. Or is it vice versa? I don't know. It's either way. These animals are strong and dangerous. Let's play a little game. Yeah, a game. Can you guess what? where the wolf is. I'll give you all the time you need. If you don't see it, then you're probably dead. Time's up. Just look at the deer's legs. What this deer doesn't notice is this wolf. Either the wolf is going to have a bad day or deer. Most likely the deer is going to have a bad day. Wolves are strong, powerful animals. Pack hunters that will swarm you to death. Able to take... This is a size comparison. Of a mo of a full-grown moose to a bunch of wolves. This is not my... Same reason this is not my thing. This, yeah... Oh, this is an old deer, a moose. Yeah, this this moose is probably this deer is still probably dead. Yeah. So they're gonna go. So what? This pack of this deer, this moose, and this and this and its baby, its calf don't know is either one of them's dead or both of them are dead. Most likely. One of them is dead. And the same poor thing happened in the bison. The bison made it to the finals in North America. Yeah, they made it to the finals, I believe. Yeah. But they can't even get past the wolves. The wolves are nasty opponents. But they're no match for the bear or the ant eater. The wolf... Bites in the third. 
pushing the snake down to four and the boy down to five. Our last animal on this episode, actually, the farthest I got before this take was actually the oh, the wolf. As the animal of this episode is the largest cat. Can it do anything to sign up? Tigers can weigh up to 500 pounds. Some have been recorded at 6 or 7. Yeah. These animals are spread almost everywhere in Asia, except hot, hot deserts. Tigers are... What makes a tiger so dangerous? They're fearless. Tigers are one of the only animals that are fearless. They will literally attack anything. I didn't get a photo of it. The only thing that really stops tigers attacks are backwards facing masks. Exactly like jaguars. These guys have one of the largest teeth. And Jerry Pilato is wrong. A tiger should have beat the lion. Tigers are larger and stronger. Yeah, a lion's gonna get squad. A pack of lions, then there's a problem. These animals use their jaws to clamp down on and if I tell you this photo is real. Most likely. I just I just want to know what the photographer I obliterate that word again. The photographer was like how did the photographer act? I don't want to know. Yeah, they're good swimmers, too. Sad thing is, white tigers are rare, and most of them are captive in horrible places. Not good. That's bad. And just like you see on Casual Geographic, there's the tiger, an albino tiger, that doesn't have autism or Down syndrome. I don't even think animals can have, like, Down syndromes. He didn't smash his face in the No, he had an uncle dad and an auntie mom that are sisters, that are siblings. He had, his mom was related to his dad. That should not be happening. These animals are strong and dangerous. I don't know where this is, but whoever designed this is an angel. Tigers are still strong animals, and you, the fact people keep them as pets is not good. Oh, yeah. I'm not claiming this photo as mine. I did not realize that. This animal is one of, if not the most dangerous animals in Asia. This, I don't know if it's real. I believe. Yet again, it would be tough for a light lion and a jaguar, because I do not. That kind of looks like a, that does look like a jaguar to me. I just know most likely that that jaguar is dead. You can, I can tell by the patterns that it's most likely a jaguar. Oh yeah, these are the only animals that can take out gowers. I couldn't find, I don't think I found a photo. No, I haven't checked this. But they're easily able to kill and tear apart animals to death. They're still, they're still feared and we have to respect them. Their numbers are drastically ditching, dropping. And this man is no angel. He's the, he's the devil. Yeah, this was the only Gower fo lion Gower photo. I have more explaining in episode 4 because the Gower was in episode 4. So if you haven't watched most of my videos, pause the video right now. That should be worthless as we're already at the end. Just go watch them before. The tiger has nearly no competition. It leaves right in the top and knocks. The rest of the lineup falls down this second. The grizzly bear. The grizzly bear falls this second. The anteater finishes in third. 
our pack of wolves stay at four. Yeah, the giant reticulate python lose a five, and an, and six will be the final resting place of the bullet in. The tiger wins this episode and moves on to to our finalists. Next episode in seventy two dangerous animals now we're playing it. A, a large venomous lizard takes on a shark that can hunt bird that can hunt almost that can hunt and eat almost anything. The, a nasty small disease carrying canine takes takes on a rare elusive feline and a fish that can produce its own electricity fares up against a venomous snake that will, that will take you down in one final blow. And, and, hey guys, sorry about the delay in videos. Next video is going to be guaranteed who would win, but it's going to be Rumble. I'm planning on doing more 1v1 books. Those books are coming out soon. And yeah. So, yeah. Those books are going to be coming out more often, sooner. There's going to be more of those books. Coming out soon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you another day. We're gonna be doing a who's win book next. So yeah, bye.